on today's consumer is spinning the down economy into gold. Most likely you've seen the ad offering quick cash for unwanted gold jewelry. But is it for real? How much can you really make? NBC's Michelle Kozinski checked it out. Here's money. It's on your computer and on the Super Bowl. My gold record. My gold golf club. Cash for gold in two years' time has gone from nothing to a quarter of a billion dollar business. We hit a nerve. That precious metal pouring in every day in, yes, every form. A one pound solid gold pig, a pair of solid gold eyelashes. All mailed in by customers to be cataloged, photographed, tested, bought and reborn, the brainchild of 36-year-old Jeff Aronson. I don't wear one piece of gold. Up. Maybe because at any given time there are up to 4 million pieces, up to $40 million worth in this building. Why is this suddenly so big? I'm providing a convenience. You're not running around spending $50 in gas in the seedy part of town trying to unload pieces of jewelry. Convenient, yes. You mail all your loot in a bag, and 24 hours after it arrives, they send you an offer. This was my little pile. One jeweler told me this stuff isn't even appraisable, that nobody would ever want to buy it. And the only value it now holds is to be melted down. But before I sent it away, I shopped around. We're a little over $400. That was our high offer. Other fancy jewelers, without of course knowing this was for television, offered $392, $342. Pawn shops were a little lower, the lowest bid, $280. So what about cash for gold? No idea. Take a guess. Probably $100, $150. Nope, lower, $73.85. Less than one-fifth the offers from local jewelers. 93.6% of the people that get an offer for us cash their check the first time around. 93.6%. You know what that tells me? Those people don't want to go into a pawn shop. And if you don't like your offer, they send your gold back. Okay, so I'm going to send the check back today. My gold pay. At gold any pay. rate, cash for gold is a blinding My success in a tarnished economy. For today, Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, okay. Miami. Cash for Gold is just one of the many ads we've noticed lately aimed at people with money worries. And here to tell us what's for real, what might be too good to be true, Carmen Wong Ulrich, the host of CNBC's On the Money, and Mick McCabe, an advertising executive with Deutsch Incorporated. Carmen and Mick, good morning to both of you. Thanks good for morning. coming on. Carmen, in general, whether it's Cash for Gold or a quick mortgage, easy money, when you see these sorts of things, what should you keep in mind before going forward? Well, you absolutely have to understand that you really have to know how these products work, how, you know, how much is your gold actually worth? You have to shop around because what's happening is they're taking advantage of people that are desperate, of people that don't want to either go to the pawn shop or research alternatives. They just want to pick up the phone and have their problem solved. But remember, you're going to pay the most for that convenience. So make sure you do your homework. Obviously, the gold is real because uh, uh, Michelle got a check, not right, as much as she might right, have gotten right, down right. the street. So these things are for real, but, but people, again, they want to move very quickly and they, and they want convenience. Yeah, but think about it here. If you go to a jeweler, right, as opposed to sending that, that in the mail, you're talking a difference of about $300. Think about and keep in mind exactly how much it's costing you to not do the homework, to not look at alternatives, and to not figure out how the system actually works. It costs you so much money, and you much rather have that money in your hand. But Mick, if nothing else, it shows the power of, of, a, of a really clever advertising mark campaign, doesn't it? It does. And Cash for Gold, they're selling hope. They're selling opportunity. They're selling good news to the cash-strapped American consumer. If, they, if, if people looked around their homes, they'll find cash. They just won't find it in the green form. They'll find it in the gold form, in jewelry, in uh, trinkets, in, on their nightstand, right. in their kitchen drawers. But these, I think what Cash Gold is doing is it's, it's interesting. They're using hyperbole and exaggeration to make the point. All right, let's talk about another ad here, Carmen.